Oh, ho, ho, how is everybody today? Just thought I'd make a video here in front of the flags, tell the kids about what to do when they're gonna write me a letter. Because a lot of kids don't know what exactly to put on there and the process involved. So we'll start out, let's start out with number one. Number one, you gotta make a list, Christmas list. That's gonna be all the things you might want for Christmas. Might be clothes, might be toys, might just be that you want to see more happy people. But most of all, try to make it something that I can do because I can't just make people happy. But if there's certain things you want, some shoes, some pants, school supplies, new toy, maybe you want a truck or a car, you know, toy, of course, then put that on the list. Now make sure that your toy isn't too expensive because expensive toys are expensive because they're hard to make. And that means the elves have to spend a lot of time making them and they don't like that. It's like when I was at Macy's and I was seeing this girl and she wanted a uh, Hoover. Yeah, was it Hoover? No, it's Dyson. A Dyson curling iron. And what that does is it sucks the air in and it dries the hair instead of heating it. And when it dries it, anyway, it's like over a thousand dollars. I mean, you can get a used car for that price. So that was very expensive. But then there was another one where there's two little girls that came and they wanted a, I believe it's called the American doll. And that doll is very expensive, but they said they would share it. So luckily I did get that one because they shared, but usually when you talk to me, I can't tell you if you can have that gift or not because I got to go back to the elves and talk to them about it because it's up to the elves because ultimately they, they, they belong to the elves. I can give them directives like, hey, I need more of this, I need more of that, but in the end of the day, me and the senior leadership of the elves will sit down and talk about who gets what and we'll give those out, toys out. So I can't just say yes or no when you come see me. So I hope you understand that. So that's why I don't make any promises because I don't wanna make promises I can't deliver. So on your list, you're gonna make a list of what you want. Make sure they're not something that's gonna to be too hard for me to get you. I say too expensive, what I mean is it's just too hard to get. I can't like make somebody not sick or something like that. That's something you can pray for, but I can't do that. Uh, now you take your list and you might have 20 items. I've seen people have two, three pages of stuff which is fine. I don't mind a long list, but after you make the list, then you gotta prioritize it. So decide what's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and number them in order. So that way I know what's most important to you. Because if you put on page three what's most important, I'm if I got the whole first page, I might not get to page three. But make sure your items are in order of what you want. And then another thing, make sure that it's clearly legible. So if you have to write clear, if you can't write clear, maybe you're too young, you can cut out pictures and they'd put the pictures with the letter and then I know what they are. And it would help if you number those. Just take a marker and just write numbers on the back of the picture or next to the picture. And then I can look at the pictures of the things you want and I'll know what order you want them in. Just as long as you get the message to me, it doesn't need to be written down. Just as long as it's clear or legible to me so I can understand it. If you don't understand that, then talk to your parents and see what they think. They can give you some good advice on that because they used to write me when they were kids too. Next, I need details. Usually that comes to color. I remember a little girl that came to see me when I was at Macy's and the little girl asked me for an Elsa dress and what she wanted was Elsa dress. And I said, well, that's great. A lot of little girls wanted one. But I asked her, well, what color? And the mother looked at me like she was in shock. And the mother said, I thought there was only one color. And I said, oh no. I said, they're green and white and blue. Because if you watch the movie, she changes different dresses. But most everybody remembers the blue one. But if you don't tell me what color you want, and everybody else says they want blue, and I have a couple of white ones, you probably get a white one. So be clear on what color, not just the toy, but what color or dress or shoes, okay? 
if you like pink shoes and I give you blue shoes, well, that's because you didn't ask what, tell me what color you wanted, okay? So make sure that's clear for you. Now, it also helps if you write a note on there. So you can say thank you for the toys or I hope you have enjoyed the cookies last year. Um, just some kind of note would be nice because it's just if you just give me a list, that's not really how you should be communicating with people. But if you're real young, I can understand that. But as you get older, you need to say something besides that. So it's kind of communication between us. All right. Um, the note doesn't have to just be to me. It could be to the elves, which is great because they don't get as much credit as they should because they actually make the toys or it could be for the reindeer, which don't really get hardly ever get any credit except for Rudolph, which sometimes gets a carry. So, yeah, your name and age. A lot of the kids will put down their name, but they don't put down your age. And I like to just make sure when I'm checking my list, because I check it twice, and I like to make sure that I have the right notes. So next to your name on my list, I'll have your name, but then I'll have um, your age. Because sometimes there's other kids with the same name, like John Smith. There's a lot of John Smiths. If you look throughout your life, you'll find several of them. So they gotta put their age. So put down your name and your age. That's number seven. Number eight is to address, put the address of the, on the envelope to mail it to me. Okay, so once again, number one is write your list. Two, make sure it's not too expensive. Three, put your items in order. Write legibly or get pictures. Give details like color. Write a note, put your name and your age, and your address to get it to me. That's very important. Everybody wants to think it's real complicated. In the United States, if you want to write the president, you just put President White House. Put it in the mailbox, it'll get to the White House. All the adults know that, but when they get older, they for some reason forget how to write me a letter. So on the envelope, just put Santa, and then put North Pole. Three words. Santa on one line, and underneath it, put North Pole. That's it. That's all you need to know. And then, one thing I do like is if you can have the mail carrier come to the house. I used to ask at Macy's and Hallmark when I worked for the Hallmark Channel, and I would ask the kids if they know who brings the mail to their house. And some of the kids would say, yeah, they know their name, and other ones would say no. And I would tell them, well, introduce yourself to that person. Tell them, hey, my name is Timmy or Sally, and I just wanted to introduce myself and I have a letter to give to Santa and I was wondering if you can give it to him. And then if you give it to them, they'll get it to me. That way you don't have to put a stamp on it because stamps cost money, but the post office usually will just bring me the mail for free as long as you give it to the mail carrier. Don't put it in the mailbox. The post office gets mad at that because they want to make sure everything in the box has postage. So just skip that part and just give it to the carrier, save some money. Who doesn't want to save money? <laughs> that's, that's the way you do it, okay? Save some money. Just give the mail carrier your, your letter. That's number eight. Now number nine, number nine is one of the most important is that you have to be nice all year. Because if you're not nice to people, I find out, and then you're not gonna get your toys. And you're not gonna get your gifts because I can't reward somebody that's not good. Okay, so please love one another, take care of one another, and just be kind to people. If you can do that, you'll be fine. And I've had some kids come to me and I'll ask them. I remember one girl, little girl, I was in uh, Manila in the Philippines, and she came over to me and I asked her, I said, without checking my list, because I'm tired and I've been working all day, can you just tell me if you're on the good list or bad list or do you know? And she looked down at the ground and said she was on the bad list. So we talked about who she was bad to and why and what she can do to make up to that person. And she did. She went and gave those people some crayons and coloring books and shared with them and told them she was sorry. And she got Christmas gifts that year. And it was already December. She knew she was on the bad list, but she changed. People like change. People will give you a second chance if you just do a good job. That is number nine, okay? You gotta be good. Most of all, what everybody's wanting to know is what's number 10, which is the most important, because I've counted backwards, okay? I gave you the most important thing at the end. And the most important thing is 
to be sure to mail the letter. If you don't send the letter, I don't get it. Some parents want to make a copy or they want to see it before you send it, but one way or another, make sure it gets sent out, okay? Now, I want to say thank you to everybody. I want to thank you for all the subscribers, all the people that gave me a thumbs up, or as they all say, one, okay? And if you're like the Grinch and you say, no, I don't want that, okay? Even he'll say that sometimes just jokingly. Even now, now we're friends and he likes Christmas, but he'll still joke around and say no, okay? So I'm fine with that, as long as you give me some kind of feedback. And if you subscribe, then you can see future videos, okay? I'm gonna try to make more this year because they always want to see what's going on out in the world. They want to see what's going out in the world. And I'm going to try to get it to them. All right? So I appreciate that. You have a good year. Take care of one another. Love you all. Oh, one more thing. I want to give a shout out to this colonel over here. Colonel Fulton. Let's take a look. She's right over here. This right here is Colonel Fulton. And you wouldn't believe it, but she wrote me a letter. And the person that brought me the letter said they were shocked because the, the Colonel, Colonel Fulton said, can you do me a favor and take this letter out to Santa Claus when you're going? Because she knew what the person was gonna come see me. And the person read the letter and they said they were in shock because the, she said, the man said he, he could never believe that a Colonel would send a letter to Santa Claus. And I said, well, of course, everybody sends letters to Santa Claus. So I want to give a special shout out to her and say thank you to Colonel Fulton because I appreciate it. I got the letter. If she's watching, I got your letter and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye.